Hey guys, what's up? It is Nicole June and welcome back to my channel. Ignore my appearance. I just woke up and I'm in the middle of doing my makeup. So, um, but it is currently January 6th. I think I don't have my phone on me, but I'm pretty sure it's January 6th. And this is my last first week of university, which is um really weird. <laughs> I'm like thinking about it and I'm like Oh my god. It is Monday today, but mon this Monday is going to be a little different. I actually don't have classes on Monday, but my boyfriend actually has like an interview downtown Toronto. I'm in London right now, so he had to go to Toronto to do that. And I am going to bus with him for some moral support just because he's like really not familiar with Toronto. It's like a really small town. So it's a little bit not fun for him so i'm gonna go with him today and we're just gonna like make a day out of it i really want to buy a pair of yeezys today there's ones that are fuck i keep doing this other talk there's ones that are used that i saw online that are at the store in toronto so between this interview and by the time we have to go and get there whatever i hopefully can get them <laughs> okay so as you can tell i am already now my makeup turned out so messed up but i i don't have time to fix it but I wanna just show you my outfit even though it's really basic. I just have this crop top on from Aritzia and then I have black. <laughs> okay, I can film here now. It's just really, really dirty, but so shirt from Aritzia. And I have these really cute jeans from Levi's. These jeans from Levi's are the 721 like mid-rise skinny. They're pretty high, like they're not high, high-waisted, but like they go like right to my belly button like cover half of it but these are like the comfiest levi jeans that i own and i really like them i think i have like three pairs of them but yeah that is the outfit and we are off to toronto We made it to Toronto. The bus ride was terrible because it was so hot. I thought I was literally gonna pass out. Um, but Chiz has his interview super, super soon. He literally looks so cute right now. Thanks. But yeah. <laughs> Chiz is done with his interview. We just like walked around and it's near square one near the Eaton Center. And I made a very big but exciting purchase. And I'll show you guys when I get home. But right now we are at Basil Box. And this is like my favorite food to get whenever I'm in Toronto. I get rice, chicken, there's edamame, sweet potato, and a peanut sauce. And it's like the best food ever if you see a Basil Box. Go check it out. But yeah, I'm gonna Hey guys, so as you can tell, we are back from Toronto now, and now I can show you guys the shoes. I'm so excited about them. So this is them. These are them. I don't know which way it is, but these are them. That sounds so weird. But I got the Cloud, the Yeezy 350 V2s. <laughs> is that what they are? You gotta clip that out. What is it? Well, no, they're the 350 V2s. <laughs> so I just say like my Yeezys. I don't know. I got the Yeezys. I'm just saying like I got the Yeezy 350 Cloud Whites. <laughs> or you can say I got the Yeezy 350s. Okay. And the Cloud White colorway, if you really want. I don't say color wave. That's weird. Say color wave. Yeah, that's what you said. It's a color wave. <laughs> Okay, so I got- <laughs> now I feel awkward whenever I say you're gonna be like, oh my god. I'm joking. Okay. Okay, so I got the Yeezy 350s. These are the cloud white ones. They're like a really light, pretty blue color. As you can see, these are so nice. Okay, when I bought them, I thought I was getting a size 8. I tried them on and they fit. They're actually an 8.5. Um, I feel like I could have gone with an 8, but if I- like, they still fit me well, these ones, if that makes sense. Like, both would fit. I'm a size eight and a half in women, sometimes a nine, if you're wondering for like size reference. 
but yeah these are what they look like and i got them used but they look brand new i think they said that they were used like once so i got these from kenshi downtown toronto it's like in this random plaza thing i can link the store down below if you want they also have an online store so you don't get duties which is cool if you live in canada but they have like a whole bunch of those like i don't know what to call it like hype beast brand stores um in that little plaza there's like three different ones that have a lot of stuff but the one store kenshi has all like e you oh my god has all used yeezys so definitely go check them out if you want to pay a little bit less jk i've just been informed <laughs> some are used some are new but i think most of them are used no no the yeezys they were most of them are new oh jk most of them are new i don't know what i'm talking but yeah these are what they look like and i am like literally obsessed with them i wish it wasn't snowing right now so i could wear them right now but yeah they're really cute hey guys so it is the next day if you can't tell and it is my last first day of classes this is weird <laughs> um i am dead i don't know if you can tell by the way i look right now okay i need to like put my hair up because it's really dirty but um i woke up at like 5 a.m it's now 8 52 i have to leave at nine o'clock i have 9 30 class and my first class today is clinical psych it's three hours so till 12 30 and then i have a two hour break and at 2 30 i have abnormal child psychology which i'm actually really excited for because i think that's gonna be like so interesting um i've taken like the normal abnormal psych before but now this is like the child one i can take both so i'm taking that one now and then i'm done class at like 4 30 today and yeah i think today all my textbooks are coming which is good because there's one class which i'll explain later that just is a lot of work and i need to do the textbook right now so that's the plan for today i will see you guys when i'm like on my way to campus but yeah if you're curious about what i'm wearing i'm gonna move you guys down so you can see this shirt is so wrinkled but i i don't care i'm gonna rush a little bit but it's just this shirt that says Bev for this shirt that says beverly hills it's from m um so it looks like this and then just this pair of wedgie levi's but yeah that's what i'm wearing i don't really look too cute today i was planning on looking all cute and then i put on a shirt i thought it looked cute it didn't look cute i'm like we're gonna wear a t-shirt <laughs> But yeah, so I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to campus. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am back from campus now. I think I have a different shirt on from when I vlogged before, but I wasn't feeling my outfit, I guess. <sighs> um, but it was a very, very long day. <laughs> it was so annoying because I didn't have my textbooks yet, so I had like... I got out really early in my first class. I had like a three hour break and my laptop was dying so I couldn't go on it. So I was literally sitting there like so bored. But my class in the morning, which was clinical psych, was honestly so good. That was the class where I was like, I want to drop it. Like I didn't think I'd want to take it. But like pretty much it's just like learning about if that's the field you want to go into or not. Like if you want to go into clinical psychology. And the prof is um, working full time as a therapist still besides the days when she's um it's called like the hour that she's teaching us three hours yeah i don't know it was actually such an interesting course and if you're like really thinking about being a psychologist in the future or like any other psych job i definitely recommend it because she also said that we're gonna have people that work in the field like forensic psychologists love therapists and like all those types of jobs like people coming in and talking about it and like you're not even graded on those lectures she's it's just for our own benefit in the future which is like so cool and i'm really excited about the course and yeah the prof is awesome um so that's really cool and then <coughs> my other course let's just say um couldn't hear um anything she said and went through the lectures really fast so it just no yeah <laughs> i literally had so much stuff come in the mail today so i got i have to post a youtube video for this brand i don't even know how to say it properly i have to look it up but focular focular f-o-c-a-l-l-u-r-e i got sent so many products from them like i knew some of the stuff i was getting sent but i think they sent me more than i thought they were gonna send like i have an eyeshadow palette eyeliner um highlight lipstick like i got a lot of stuff from them i'm like so thankful and i'm really excited to like fully try it out but i put some on my hand and it's so good i washed my hand after i put this on because i want to clean my hand off 
and I just got out of the shower and like blow dry my hair, but I got out of the shower. It's still in my hand, the eyeliner, so like, that's pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about that stuff. And then I also ordered textbooks. You know, they're so interesting. Maybe you want to see them. For my thanatology course, which is like ethical issues and dying. <laughs> Such a depressing course, but it'll be an easy grade. This is Bioethics in Canada, a philosophical introduction. The book looks so boring. Next, I have an introduction to clinical psychology. Also, looks so boring. <laughs> And then my last one's cute. I'm kind of excited for this one. So this is abnormal child psychology, but like I got all these cute little kids to just motivate me while I do my work. <laughs> um, but yeah, I at first didn't think I was going to be doing anything tonight, but then I'm now going on a double date to go bowling. So that's why I showered and like blow dried my hair quick because I looked not too cute. But yeah, that is the plan for tonight. I'm pretty sure I can film there, so get some footage of my awful bowling for you guys, you know? <laughs> I really don't think it's for anything that's a full YouTube thing. Damn, you're not allowed to film in this sound. Oh, Rebel is trouble. Bowling con, we're all out too. She's even got the tripod, that's fucking dead. So she's gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Quality content. Why don't you vlog yourself? Why don't you see what we're doing? I don't want to. No. <laughs> oh no, we are not. No. Why? We don't do that. The only time you go on my vlogs is if you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I just outed you. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday now. I have two classes today. Um, I have a class at 10:30 in the morning. It's actually with my boyfriend, which is like super exciting. We always plan to have like a class together because. Just makes it a little bit more fun you know so we're taking history of pirates and piracy together because that's what we could agree on <laughs> so i'm taking that this morning it's a history course um and that's two hours so 10 30 to 12 30 and then both of us my voice is like <clears throat> i think i'm getting sick oh god um and then both of us have a one hour break and then i have a class um at 2 30 to 4 30 and it's a women's studies course and it's the body um i feel like it'll be pretty interesting i hope um but yeah that is the plan for today i am so tired last night i think you saw a clip of my boyfriend putting like this hat on me but we went um bowling as you saw and then after we played pool and i was trying to get just to watch the bachelor with me when we got back he wouldn't watch it he's like okay if you sink this ball and pool we'll watch it and i did it so we ended up having a wine and like a hors d'oeuvre night watching it so yeah um this is my outfit for today so i just have this bodysuit on from brandy melville and then these levi ribcage jeans from aritzia we're out of class now and we're sitting in the ucc because we have like an hour break babe <laughs> but i don't even know if i'm gonna stay for my full class that i have after this because i am so tired oh my god I like cannot function right now, so I think I need to maybe go home and sleep if we're gonna watch a movie and I'll just watch it on my own time. So yeah. Hey guys, it is now Thursday. No. No, it is Thursday. <laughs> um I have a tutorial today and I'm not gonna go. Cause I can feel, like my chest feels like I have an elephant standing on it. I can feel that I'm getting sick and I'm 99% sure that they're not gonna count this tutorial this week because people aren't even like all enrolled in the course yet. So I'm like, we're gonna take a chance and not go cause I'm not feeling too hot. But I had my two classes yesterday and they both were like honestly really good. The body one and then the history of piracy I really liked. I wanna show you though this hoodie really quick. It's from, it's from Shadow Hill. I ordered this over a month ago and just got it now, but this is what it looks like. It has like these lightning bolts on the side and then it just says Shadow Hill right here. I am like obsessed with this sweater. Hey 
Hey guys, I feel like it's quite a bit later now. It's like 12-ish. Um, oh my god, I have to message my teacher that I didn't feel well. Okay, I need to do that. I forgot about that. But I pretty much just set up my iPad for this semester. I like want it to look cute. It took me a long time to make it look like this, but I feel real proud. So I put it all into a folder and then I made my notebooks. And I think they look so cute. Okay, wait. There you go. See, I like wrote the title. I made it like color coordinated. So it was like black, white, black, white, black. Like it looks so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing my first reading of the semester right now and I'm kind of dreading it. <laughs> hey guys, so it is now Friday. This is gonna be my last day of vlogging for this week. Um, but I got this yesterday. I just didn't have a chance to film it, but I got stuff from David's Tea, which I am so excited about. They're having such a big sale. Um, I'll just show you what I have in my hand right now. So I have the Candy Cane Crush like holiday tea. This was like $4 or $5 and it's regular, like definitely more than that. Um, but I tried this yesterday and it was actually pretty good. I liked it a lot. It didn't taste as much like candy cane as I thought, but I mean, it smelled more like it. I don't know. It was really, really good. The next thing I'll show, which I am the most excited about, are these adorable mugs. These were regular $10, I think. I got them for $7. I know that for sure, but this is what the first one looks like. Okay, so it has like these really cute little gold leaves on it, gold bottom. And then the inside of it is like my favorite color of this pink. And then the rim also up here is gold. It is so beautiful. And then the next one, it looks like this. And it has the gold bottom, this pink color with leaves. And then the inside has those same gold ones. So as you can see, these cups are pretty much like opposites. So they're like literally so cute together. Like look at that. In love with those. And then I decided because I always get matcha from Starbucks and I have no idea how to make it. I mean, I've looked up videos, so I know now, but we are dedicated to matcha. <laughs> um, I got the vanilla matcha. This had the best reviews because I don't love when it's like really like earthy tasting. I like it when it's a lot sweeter and people said this is really sweet. You don't even need like sweetener in it. So I got this vanilla matcha. Um, I don't know. This is pretty small to be honest. I thought it would be bigger, but I don't know if like I don't like it. At least I don't have to dedicate myself to like a huge thing. Um, and then I also got, this was $35 by the way, for the essentials kit. This is actually cheaper than anything I found on Amazon. On Amazon, all the kits were like $40 to $60. And I was like, what the hell? So I ended up getting free shipping by getting it there. And this was cheaper than Amazon. So yeah, this is a matcha essentials kit. It comes with the matcha matsu, matsu, matcha whisk, modern matcha bowl, and the perfect matcha spoon. I haven't opened this yet, so I will open it with you guys. Oh my god, this is so much cuter than I was expecting. Oh, and it comes with matcha. That's what matcha matsu is. I was like, I don't know anything about this. Okay, this is what it looks like in here. So first, you've got the whisk to mix it. Oh my god, that's so cute. This little wooden thing. Then we've got this spoon to measure out the matcha. This is so cute, a little wooden spoon. And then there's the little bowl to mix it in. And it also has this, you can pour it out, which is so cute. And this color is really, really cute. Okay, this actually seems like it's going to be really good. That is so good. Oh my god. This tastes identical to the iced matcha green tea latte that I get. I always get it iced from Starbucks and I add vanilla to it. So this actually tastes exactly like it. I feel like I did the right amount of matcha. I probably could have put it a little bit more because it's pretty milky, but I kind of like it like that. I love this. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this week in my life. I feel like this one was actually pretty productive. Like it wasn't just me doing schoolwork. Actually, you didn't even see me do schoolwork once. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you probably next week because I'll probably film another week in my life for next week, I think, because I'm not too busy with school right now. So I feel like it's a little bit more enjoyable since I like have more free time. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.